Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com. Um, so we got today battle out between the i9100 on the right corner packing a quad-core Exynos chip 1.4 gigahertz quad-core with 1 gig of, gigs of RAM. And on the left corner we have the T-Mobile Galaxy S3 with a dual core Qualcomm S4 chip 1.5 gigahertz dual core with two gigs of RAM. So we're gonna do a test of the quadrant. Let's first close all the apps and uh, do remove all. And here we go. The moment of truth. I know all of you wanted to know which one is faster. Um, so I got it here, both phones. And let's do this. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. <laughs> so the Galaxy S3 i9300 has a big lead with CPU. Uh, blistering through I.O. already. While the Qualcomm S4 T-Mobile version is lagging. Ooh. And uh, looking good at 66 frames per second. Both are running stock ROMs. No overclocking on both yet. And uh, let's see who wins. Looks like getting much higher frames per second on the i9300. Uh. And uh, we're almost done here. And... Uh, there we go. Ooh, 64 frames per second for i9300. Ooh, the T999 is just lagging. Ooh, how many seconds behind is that? Yes, yes! We want to see the results. Um, so, there you go. 5008 versus 4416. Now, let's look at the numbers in detail. CPU 7670 and uh, 12,773. So, as, as far as CPU raw processing power, the Exynos quad core just beats it, beats it down. Um, this is very similar to the test I did earlier, I think a couple of weeks ago, with the AT&T 1X um, with the same Qualcomm S4. You can see the memory um, slightly faster here, 6635 versus 4621. That's uh, expected as that has 2 gigs of RAM. I.O. Uh, 4855, 5690. Um, so this one's a little bit faster. 2D, about the same, 840, 990. 3D, 2078, 1967. Um, so in this round, uh, the i9300 wins. Let's go and check out um, and 22 which could give us completely different results. All right. And, uh, let's run and 22 and the moment of truth. Here we go. Let's go to test test and start test. And we're off to a uh, battle out here. And on the right i9300 and the on the left it's the T999. They're both going at about the same speed, CPU and memory. Um, different than the Quadrant. They're all about the same, but we'll find out here in uh, in a minute or two how fast um, both phones really are. Ooh, yeah. I'm um, still even looking pretty good. Both have full batteries so they're not running at and they're both on Wi-Fi um, and actually this one actually has more apps running this one is completely stock I didn't install any apps other than Quadrant and Antutu versus this one it's Google Voices running a lot of stuff syncing so you know you have to give a little bit more points to the quad core but it's still winning so there we go uh. Ooh, it's gonna be exciting, exciting. And uh, for those of you on AT&T, definitely get the unlocked version if you can. If you don't, uh, if your contract's not up, this is gonna be the faster phone for sure. 
um, the raw processing power as you saw it was almost twice more almost you know 13 14,000 range versus uh, maybe 7,000 8,000 range there and uh, my computer my computer just died here I'm, I think I, we're still I hope we're still recording um, we'll see here and uh, frames per second is higher on the Qualcomm S. Sorry, my my uh, computer had a blue screen of death, but um, it's still recording. I missed a couple seconds of this. Um, there we go, almost done. And uh, we'll see the results here real soon. Um, it seems like the S uh, i ninety three hundred does have a slight lead as far as just pure. Um, speed just looking at the bench part who finishes first which I think is also an important point um, these numbers are great but um, you know also who really finishes first the test is I think important sort of Ooh, look at that CPU almost more than double here RAM also double here um, GPU this one a little bit and also I.O. Um, the i9300 overall you can see that the uh, i9300 just beat them beat them um, so those are the results I mean they're not everything but I've I've been testing this chip already Qualcomm S4 uh, with my AT&T 1XL and uh, I would definitely have to say the Exynos does quite well with the CPU just the raw processing power which is very important and I think that's why also the RAM is higher because it can process um, things faster the bottleneck is always gonna be uh, with the CPU RAM RAM can be so fast but um, you know what if the CPU can't be fast as the RAM it's not gonna you know work out and uh, it seems like the Qualcomm S4 um, very disappointing but still a great phone still very very fast um, don't let this get you down but I just wanted to show you that uh, prove you that Exynos wins um, this outright um, but you know in real usage you're, you're probably not gonna notice that much difference um, it's also software that's running they're both running ICS so it it doesn't really matter that much but for those of you hardcore high on Android folks um, if you have AT&T on uh, US definitely get the unlock model um, gonna give you much better speeds of course the um, the T-Mobile version also the AT&T version um, will have 4G LTE but I would say HSPA plus on AT&T is pretty darn fast I do get 5 to 10 megabits per second download um, so it's not a huge deal but um there you go and uh um if you have any comments don't forget to leave in the comment section if there's anything you want me to review maybe another benchmark don't forget to leave in the comments and i'll tr try to do them um next time anyway thanks you guys for watching my video that was a uh, battle out between the i9300 and the um t999 the results should be pretty much identical for the uh, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint versions because they use the same chip, pretty much the same setup. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me there. Uh, subscribe button up there and also use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And thanks you guys. Stay high on Android. And as always, um, don't buy an iPhone. It sucks.